Welcome back craft beer lovers. Um, this is a day I have been dreading for the last week. Um, Michael Bed, uh, better known as Shelley to some of her friends, um, has been quite mean to me. Um, I've got a history with one beer and um, I've never really slagged off a beer in my life anywhere near as much as I have slagged off O'Brien's beers. Um, honestly, the ones that I've had in the past, the lager and the, was a premium lager and a pale ale, were just totally undrinkable. Um, and there's been some running stories going around about O'Brien's and with some of the group members for quite some time. So, um, Shelley has been kind enough in inverted commas to send me some O'Brien's beer. Um, and I'm really not looking forward to it as I described to her in a previous message. Um, the anticipation of drinking this is like uh, root canal therapy at a dentist. So I'm really not looking forward to this because I've been scarred by it in the past. Having said that, I am willing to judge this as unbiasedly as I possibly can, given my previous experience. Um, if for those of you who don't know O'Brien beers, um, they brew gluten-free beers. Um, and I know if Dave Croft's watching, he's gonna be sure to make a comment on the bottom and say that um, they're not technically beers because they are brewed with, let me just read it, uh, crafted using roasted millet malt and sorghum, whatever the hell that is. O'Brien beer is always gluten-free, offering full flavor without compromise. Um, the label also reads on this one, this American style Indian pale ale offers lashings of hoppy tropical fruit, salad aromas and flavors. Well, um, Let's see. Now, interestingly, I'm also going to point out this does say that it's a spring release um, and it does have a use by date, which is clearly marked on here, which I read of the 14th of August 2016, which is about two weeks away. So it's not a real freshie, um, but it hasn't passed the use by date. And I now most unwillingly participate in what could be my last beer review of the day and hopefully not ever but as I said I am going to do this as unbiasedly as I possibly can O'Brien Indian Pale Ale beer gluten free whatever the hell it is Yeah, okay. There is a hint of citrus, there is a hint of something, but there's also this reminder of going into a dentist and that smell. It's the sort of soapiness that you get from beers that just don't taste good. Um, and I'm being honest, I literally, if this smelt like a fresh cut daisy, I would tell you. And it doesn't. Here goes. <laughs> God. Uh, Michael Baird. He told me these weren't that bad, seriously. It's just got this soapy, sickly baby vomit about it. I'm sorry, it just does. It starts with a crisp, crispness, crispness, a bit like a lager. And that's where it ends, really. Shit. You're not my friend anymore, Michael. It's... 
It's a sickly aroma, it really is. Baby vomit, that's all I can think of. It's more drinkable than the last ones. Like if I if I was forced to drink that, I probably could. The the previous attempts I've had at O'Brien beers, the lager and the pale ale were literally undrinkable. I could not finish them. They went straight down the sink. This one, I'd have to say, is better. Um, but then that's not saying much. So. There's nothing, there's nothing about that that reminds me of an IPA. There is nothing about that beer. That I would describe offers lashings of hoppy tropical fruit, salad aromas and flavors. If there is tropical fruit in it, it's like a passion fruit that's been out all day in the sun or the salad that's gone soggy in the bottom of a kid's lunchbox. I'm sorry, there is nothing pleasurable about drinking that at all. And as much as I try, it's gotta be that, it's gotta be that whatever they brew with the gluten-free thing, it's gotta be because it's just, it's just memories of that and uh, yeah, I'm sorry. That's as good as it gets. Um, as far as that beer goes, it's better than the last ones I've had from O'Brien. As far as it goes from for an IPA, it's just at the bottom of the list. Sorry. Worst IPA I've ever had. Cheers.